So these are the original wheels that came off of the trailer. That's a six stud bolt pattern. And this is their Five spare. Bolt pattern, spare tire, and it is the rim is bigger than the original. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna put these next to each other. I'm pretty sure this, this tire is taller than that one. So we're in a situation here that if they ever did have a blowout, yeah. there's no way they could use the spare. Yeah, we're gonna be getting rid of whatever this is, and we're gonna be using the best tire that was taken off, probably this Carlisle right here. This thing was actually in pretty good shape. So that'll be going back in as the spare tire. And they'll actually have a functional spare. Maybe two spares. You know, maybe we'll throw two of them back in there just in case they, they need it. All right, guys, so we're back here at Ron Hoover, RV and Marine in Corpus Christi. We got a lot of freight in from LCI or Lippert Components. This is the awning that's going to be going on the trailer. And this is the first time I've mentioned it. So once the wrap goes on, this cargo trailer is actually going to have a 16-foot awning that extends the length of it on this side. And this is going to be to provide the kids whenever they're getting everything set up and they are having all the equipment outside or as it's being loaded, a nice shaded place to stand. And especially if it's sunny outside and they simply want to try to get out of the sun. So we are adding a really cool awning. And the nice thing about this specific one is that there are no wires that actually go into the trailer. So we're not having to add any power to it in that sense. It runs off of 18 volts and it is rechargeable. So I believe you can use it like 40 or 50 times off of one full charge. And it, again, lets you attach it to the side of a trailer like this or an RV or whatever you plan on putting it on and not have to worry about running any wires inside. And it comes with a little power adapter to plug it into the wall so you can recharge the system. So that is really cool. And that is courtesy of LCI or Lippert Components. They jumped all over the opportunity to help on this type of a setup. We have some other stuff that is packaged in here as well. So definitely appreciate the contribution from Lippert Components. So something else that Nick actually requested was this really cool power box. So this is essentially what you would see in an RV or a travel trailer. Whenever you have your power connected from your pedestal for ground power, this gives you the ability to convert it to the power you need inside of your trailer for different applications. So you can see it has a cooling fan built into it. Again, this is sourced from e-trailer. They carry all of this stuff, whether you need to add it or use it as a replacement. And this is how all the power coming into the trailer is going to be dispersed throughout the trailer. Well, with, just, uh, with all the lighting and everything that we're going to be putting in, as well as uh, 110 outlets, uh, this is going to be able to let us make our 12-volt runs, uh, have proper fuses in place that we need, and then also have uh, whatever breakers that we're going to need in there for the 110 wiring. So this is kind of like an all-in-one application. And, and, and this is going to act as a battery charger, too. So when they're plugged in, they can keep their batteries charged up and everything. So, yeah, all new brakes, all new running gear. That's going to be really nice. But one thing that is also being done right now is every screw is being removed from the outside and clean behind because whenever they do the wrap, they want this thing to be completely smooth, clean, and free of debris. So even though Ron Hoover essentially replaced any missing bolts or screws, they're all coming out so this can be wrapped. So once it's wrapped, we'll be able to put the Lippert supplied awning on the outside and then we'll be able to wire up all the lights but iconic signs and graphics here in Corpus Christi is taking on the project of wrapping all of this and what's funny is that you might look at this and you might say that that is a sticker but it's not this is where the stickers used to be and that's the original finish of the trailer so to get from this to this over a period of time just shows you how weather beaten this trailer has been original finish that's what it looks like after 20 years of use. And down here, he's actually in the process of mounting and wiring in the strobe lights. So strobe lights will be placed all along the bottom section of the trailer, both front and back. And that should give it a really cool effect whenever it's taken to football games and other shows. Adrian is the man in charge of everything related to graphics on this and making sure that it's done right. Right, right, so what, what are we looking at? What are some of the big challenges you've been dealing with? Well, since the graphics have been here on here for about 15 years, you can see that the, the glue and everything on here has been binded in with the paint. So what I'm having to do is chip away at all the, the old glue and graphics and things like that 
Then I'm having to go over it with the VA to make sure that the, the surface is nice and smooth. So when it comes time for me to actually lay down the graphics on here, you won't see the old indention of the graphics and everything like that on, on the trailer so the, the wrap could be nice and smooth and real nice and clean on the on the trailer when it comes time for the, for the customer to get it. Okay, so when I feel some of the edges here, it doesn't feel bad, but what you were telling me is if you don't make this transition sanded down as smooth as possible, you would actually be able to see all the old lettering through the new graphics, right? Correct, yes. Man, yeah. so that is really important to do. That's yeah. something I didn't think about. I kind of felt right. like you could just wrap over everything that right. used to be on here. I didn't uh -huh. realize that this old paint mixed with the really old sun-fried paint created a big enough edge right. that would stand out in a graphic that goes on top of yeah, this. Yeah, exactly, because like how you can see here how the how this was protected by the by the sun with the, the vinyl on here, so when it comes to like removing it, it's gonna be just as perfect as the day that we installed it on here because it was protected by the sun. So as you can see here, that all of the surrounding areas that weren't protected by the sun was already faded out and damaged and everything like that. So when it comes time for us to remove it, you could still feel that yeah, transition, that transition and the sun damage right here. So what we're having to do is sand all the edges down right here. So when it comes time to actually lay everything down, it'll be nice, smooth, and perfect for everything. How many hours of labor do you think you're putting into this uh, just to prep it? Yesterday I put in about seven to eight hours. <clears throat> Monday I put in about four hours, and today I'm planning on probably putting in another six hours before of, you can even touch vinyl on yeah, this thing. Yeah, just just on prepping, on just sanding everything down when it comes time to you know smoothing the surface down. I didn't remove the graphics myself; <clears throat> somebody else did. But I heard that he took about two and a half days just to remove the graphics itself. Wow, that's a just, lot of work. Yeah, just the graphics. But when it comes time to actually prepping the actual surface it's been taking me about three days to do and how long have you been doing this uh for 11 years 11 years mm -hmm. so you do cars you do trailers mm -hmm. you do everything right yeah, i do boats rvs trailers uh custom car wraps uh racing stripes uh basically anything that has to do with vinyl i could i could do maybe we can get you back in and show us what it's like to redo a uh, graphics on an rv yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Adrian, I really appreciate the effort and time you're putting into this. It's oh, for a great cause. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Guys, this is going to be an ongoing project. We have a lot more work to do. It's definitely been an interesting project to follow. So over here, you can see the new brakes and hubs have been installed. These are the old ones, and they are in really bad shape. Actually, we're singed pretty bad in several areas as well, and they didn't work at all. So... The brakes themselves were completely shot on the trailer when we received it. Put all new brakes on, courtesy of e-trailer. These are the never adjust, so this is a significant upgrade. Look really nice. They are gonna be prepping and painting this entire area as well, so it's nice and blacked out. Okay, and one final update for this video is we have some of the lights on, and I don't really know what pattern we have them on, but we can change the pattern through the controller right there. We can have them on constantly. We can change the color. We can change the whole design of them, which is really cool. And we have more of them going on. So we have eight on right now, three on this side, three on the other side, two on the front, and the back is gonna get two on each side, two on the back, and then we're also gonna do some in the fender wells. So, a lot of lighting going on this trailer. This is just some of the external accent lighting. There's gonna be more lighting up here where the awning is gonna go, but this project is definitely coming along. We have both battery boxes and batteries mounted, all custom made bracketry here at Ron Hoover. They did a phenomenal job, and they are doing a phenomenal job getting everything done right, but more importantly, getting everything done in a safe manner, because that's really what it takes to make this project really stand out. We need to make sure everything's done correctly, safely, and is gonna prolong the life of this trailer for another 20 years. So again, guys, I need to give a huge shout out to the folks at Ron Hoover RV and Marine here in Corpus Christi who are providing a tremendous amount of labor as well as repairs to this trailer. They're doing 
the vast majority of the labor. Then we have Iconic Signs who will be wrapping it. We have Lippert Components who are providing additional equipment, some really cool equipment that is going to stand out tremendously when this is done. And eTrailer.com who, again, are providing the vast majority of the replacement parts. From the brakes to the hub assembly to the lighting, all sorts of components that are going on this. Even the seven-way connector up front as well as a control panel in here. All this stuff is coming from eTrailer.com. So guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.